all right what's up everybody today we're going to do some timing i gotta find my top dead center so i can make sure i set my timing right so right here i got a dial indicator bought this on amazon i don't know it was like uh i don't know 40 bucks or something but this adapter right here fits perfectly fine and you got your locking screw and you got your little extender here so we can put that in the cylinder and see exactly what uh top dead center is located so on cylinder one pull all your spark plugs up first so i got all my spark plugs out as you can see and over there so let me get this in that all the way in so I noticed with this I can't actually get it all the way in but that's okay so if you see I don't know if you can see it my screw my set screw won't fit right so what I'll do is get my set screw set get it in there Get my dial indicator. Put that in. I'll turn that all the way there. I'll lock it. Sorry. That way it's set screws resting on the uh, temperature gauge bracket or the temperature uh, sensor bracket. That way it can't turn any. So the first thing I need to do is find top dead center of this cylinder. So I'm going to turn my flywheel here until I can find top dead center. I'm going clockwise. There we go. Let's see. This is hard doing it one handed. All right, so here's top dead center right here. If you notice the needle. So now I gotta set my gauge to zero. Sorry about the light. All right, so where's my zero? Zero. Oh shoot! I don't have this tight. I'll do that all over again. All right. So let's find top dead center, which is right about here. As you see, I'm just twisting this a little bit. Top dead center, right there. Let's adjust this gauge. Get it zero. Exactly zero. We'll tighten it. So now we gotta go, the dial's turned five already. So now I need to go back. I gotta go counterclockwise until I get 4.462. So we'll go one, two, three four so needle swinging past zero that's one turn all right so there's six six two will be like right there you can see my indicator shows i'm down to one now so that means i've i was at five some five turns now i'm at four turns so four six two should be right there can't get it to stay exactly so that's okay for now all right so now on your flywheel let's see get out the way you got your timing marks on your cover so this is not the right cover for this but the windows are still in the same spot so then i could come down here I don't know if that's going to work. There you go. So it's lined up with the 4.462. So now I got my top dead center right. If it wasn't, 
you adjust these, loosen that, move the little window right there. So now when I hook up my timing gun, I can actually set my throw, my uh, advance and everything like that. So it's pretty quick and simple. It actually took me a while to figure out. But like I said, I'll see it fell to 461. It won't stay at 462. It's hard to do with one hand, but yeah. So bam, now I could actually set my timing, which is wonderful. When you set your timing, make sure you ground all your uh, spark plug wires, otherwise you'll burn out your computer or your, uh... yeah, that part, can't think of it now. All right, let me get this timing set. Okay, so we're gonna adjust timing. We're gonna verify timing. So I got my timing light, cheap Amazon timing light. I've got all my spark plugs. Yeah, I didn't buy the tool. Instead of just wrap the spark plugs in a bunch of wires, which I got going to ground. There's my timing light on cylinder number one, right there. And then I've got my other spark plugs on this side. Tied up, they all go to ground. Verified ground with the meter. So we're good there. So now, what I'll have to do is get this lined up, which you guys probably won't be able to see when I do it. I'll try. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, let's try this and see what happens. Go ahead, Bobby. All right, so I got my timing set. That's not water dripping out of the engine. That's just water from where I made a mess. Got my fuel line primed. Got everything good to go. Let's fire it up, Let's see what happens. Like I said, I got all my timing set, advanced, all that shit. Let's fuck it, let's, let's hit it.